Well, you are working on something called Cape Ann Works, and I know you have great partners in this. Tell us what's going on there. Well, I'm really proud of what's happening with Cape Ann Works, and it really came out of a discussion that happened a, a few months ago um, where a group of us were talking about the fact that uh, Cape Ann, like the rest of the country, um, has employers that are having a hard time uh, finding uh, employees. And it's particularly a problem during the summer months uh, because in the summer months, a lot of our seasonal businesses like restaurants have an even higher demand for help for employees uh, than they do the rest of the year. And so uh, Michelle Brown from uh, Rockport, well, who works for Rockport, um, came up with the idea that maybe we could engage the student visa program to see if we could get some international students uh, coming to Cape Ann uh, for the summer when we have the highest demand. And from that has grown an entire program uh, with lots of partners. So the Cape Ann Transit Authority, uh, looking at being able to provide bus passes, um, Gordon uh, Conwell Seminary and Gordon College being able to provide housing and dorms that aren't used in the summer. Um, and just a whole host of partners that have come forward uh, in terms of things like the YMCA, uh, being able to offer reduced rates uh, for participants in the program. And one of the things that we talked about early on is that we ought to do something for local students as well. This ought not just be something for international students. And so Cape Ann Works um, will now uh, host a website uh, where local employers will be able to post job listings and students will be able to match to those job listings and they'll be able to get the kind of uh, summer employment that they might be looking for and also help out a local business. And along the way, um, everybody that's involved in the program, we're hoping to um, host at some events that will allow um, exchange between international students and local students. Uh, we're hoping to have some guest speakers that will address topics of interest. Um, and we're hoping to uh, assemble an array of what we call works perks uh, for all the students to be able to get discounts at local businesses and other kinds of special amenities. And this is really a program uh, that's gone from uh, zero to 60 in a very short period of time, in, in large part thanks to, to Michelle Brown, uh, Peter Weber and the Cape Ann Chamber of Commerce. Um, the folks at Beauport Hotel have been very helpful in trying to help us understand this because they've had some experience with it in the past. Uh, but it really is pulling a lot of folks together and we've gotten great support um, from our two state representatives on Cape Ann, Jamie Belsito and Ann Margaret Ferranti. So on Tuesday, um, which is probably the evening of when folks will be watching this, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have a launch uh, for the business community at the Beauport Hotel uh, to be able to tell folks all about the program and invite their support. And what's interesting is that we originally were wondering whether or not we were too late um, to get international students. And we're actually working with uh, a program, a company that works with the State Department uh, to try to facilitate international students coming here. And at this point, we are over 40 international students that are coming. And I am told, and I, I'm not sure um, if this is confirmed yet, but I'm told there's also the possibility that we could be getting some students from Ukraine. So there is a lot happening with this program, and I really encourage folks to, to understand it, learn about it. And uh, my understanding is that 1623 is going to be with us uh, next Tuesday night, and uh, we hope folks will be able to tune in if they can't be there in person. Well, I hope so. It's certainly a worthy uh, thing to cover, that's for sure. And what a simple idea, and yet no one came up with it before. That's so great to have a website, one central website for employees people look for looking for work and people needing workers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we're pretty excited about it. And we're excited about the fact that it is simple, but it's powerful. Oh. And, and, and it will give a place for students to go and really think about what they're interested in and hopefully find an employment opportunity on the website and, um, and have a great summer that maybe they wouldn't otherwise have had in terms of employment by using the website. Right. So are you mainly thinking about college students in uh, and predominantly from Europe? Where are they coming from? Where well, so we're thinking about actually both. We're, we're talking about high school students and, and college students in terms of the local workforce. Uh, but in terms of the international workforce, we're thinking primarily of college students. Mm -hmm. And there, uh, as far as I know, um, there are quite a few uh, that are scheduled to come from Europe 
Um, I think we have a number coming from Spain. Um, and I can't speak to this with a lot of authority because the, the makeup of the composition of the group has been changing, but um, we do know that there'll be a significant number coming and uh, we look forward to welcoming, welcoming international students from all over the world um, to see what's special about Cape Ann, to be able to help our local employers, and at the same time, uh, being able to give students uh, a great experience. Yeah, it's just a wonderful idea. It really is.